Hey, what's going on guys? Sal Express here with Angle Sports Center and we're finally done with the rain. So we had a good long week of rain. Uh, fishing's been picking up and we have good fishing reports for you guys out there. Uh, you know, we're getting into the summer season now for rockfish, you know, striped bass, whatever you want to call them. It's actually looking like a really good summer season after, you know, we had all those, you know, hit or miss days for trophy season. So let's get to it. Uh, we're looking at a lot of fish between the 20 to low 30 marks out there. Uh, pretty much everybody's been able to find fish in the main, you know, typical areas where you find them in the summer. Going anywhere from the hill in the mouth of the Eastern Bay, you know, uh, right around the Bay Bridge Pilings, Hackett's, Thomas Point, Luff Point, and Pedigree Point. Now, there is some areas where you will find a little bigger fish than others. But in most of these areas, it's still a close, you know, catch and release area until we get to June. So, you know, let's start off a little bit down south. Uh, most of the guys down in Chesapeake Beach have been finding successful, you know, success out there trolling the edges right outside, Ch outside Chesapeake Beach and Breezy Point. You know, trolling the channel edges between, you know, 30 some foot of water to 40, 50 foot of water has been successful for them out there. Uh, trolling, you know, smaller baits. Now that you guys can keep the 19 inch fish and up, uh, this is a time to mix up a couple of rigs on your spread. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, you want to mix up, mix up some smaller uh, baits, you know, curly tails with six inch shads, uh, six inch mark for your, you know, buck skirts or whatever you want to troll out there. That's the size that's going to be able to put, uh, put some fish right away, you know, on your boat and help you take some fish home. Uh, let's move up to, you know, Thomas Point, a lot of people from the park, uh, from shore fishermen have been catching some fish early in the mornings with top water plugs. Uh, you know, boat fishermen fishing from the, um, from your boats, essentially casting towards the rocks at the lighthouse or on that point have been catching good fish, you know, either with subsurface plugs, top water plugs early in the morning or even jigging around the ledges on, you know, when the tides are changing. Now we're going to move up to uh, Eastern Bay, in the mouth of the Eastern Bay sinks, you know, that's where you're going to be able to catch fish, keep fish. So you're looking at the hill and the round uh, Bloody Point being some good areas to sit out and chum. Uh, chumming's been pretty productive out there. People have been catching good size of, you know, range from 20 to 30 inch fish, with most of your fish being from, you know, the mid-teens to the mid-20 size. Uh, you know, so chunk LY, essentially with chum, has been the way to go there. Uh, there's been reports of a lot of people catching good sized fish and bigger sized fish inside Eastern Bay, uh, but we won't be able to keep those fish until, you know, June 1st. But if you're doing catch and release, that's a good area to go jigging around there. Bay Ridge pilings, you know, uh, pretty much jigging around the pilings has been producing fish. Uh, live line and eels, another thing that a lot of people don't do much, that's a good area to do that. And also sitting out there on some of the drop-offs on the eastern side and the western side uh, for, you know, chumming out there. Uh, particular point, same thing, chumming. A lot of fish between the mid-20s and Love Point. We got recent reports of people catching a lot of fish in the, you know, upper 20s to mid-30s. Uh, also chumming and jigging on the outside by the LP buoy and some fish being caught on the north side just past a marker up there. Uh, so good areas to do that in Rock Hall, you know, around Swan Point, also an area that you can, you know, miss out and go out and check it out. So, you know, rockfish, it's pretty much going, this is the best time to catch some of your mid-size to bigger size fish all mixed in. And like I mentioned before, Essentially, once we get to June 1st, that's going to be when every body of water essentially is going to be open for, you know, pretty much keeping fish. Now, let's go to some of the perch fishing. Perch fishing has been pretty good and productive anywhere you go, essentially. Uh, blood worms, racer clams, grass shrimp are going to be your best baits out there. If you're fishing from shore, make sure you hit some of those pilings around. If you're fishing a, you know, essentially... Uh, pier, soft crabs also work great if you're fishing around the Bay Bridge pilings uh, for, you know, even rockfish will hit those. Um, so, you know, if you're fishing the pilings, fish a little bit deeper around the rock piles and that will be a good ticket to catch some of those bigger white perch. If not, you can find hard bottom uh, oyster beds and they're there. So check those areas out for you guys. 
Matty Peak and Sandy Point have been producing a good amount of perch on worms, soft crabs, and clams. So, you know, those areas are going to be producing a good amount of fish, uh, especially, you know, um, white perch. Now, don't be surprised if you catch some other stuff out there. You know, we all know it's a little too early for spotting croaker to move in, but I did get my first confirmation of a report of a croaker from the Mid Bay area. Uh, but it was just probably one of those lost fish, a nice, you know, 10 inch croaker. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's been a couple of slow years. So hopefully, they make it up here this year, and we'll see how, you know, we do with those. Um, so, you guys fishing from shore. Uh, same thing, you know, uh, Manny Peak's doing pretty well um, with, you know, cut LY for stripers and also, you know, your clams and worms and soft crabs for either, you know, rock and perch. Uh, Sandy Point's been pretty productive at night mainly with some guys catching some good sized fish in the upper 20s and mid 30s there at night. And uh, essentially, you know, remember guys, uh, Romacoke and Kent Narrows are still a close area. So you gotta wait until June 1st to keep them there. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get you know tickets from those areas because they don't know the rules. So make sure you go and check those out before you go out there. <clears throat> now, just a new product for you guys. Uh, I know this has been a big thing in the past few years. Uh, shark fishing, you know, land-based shark fishing. Um, in Ocean City, essentially, you know, you can only, you cannot paddle them out there, but you can still do it if you. Uh, cast them out and whatnot. not, acetic you can still do it. We have some land-based shark fishing rigs and this is the crazy case by Mr. Kevin Hudler here. Uh, great product here, you know, they come in a little bag and essentially is ready to go for you guys dropping baits out there. Uh, we're gonna get you, you know, 500 pound uh, leader here. It goes to your heavy duty wire and a big old mustad hook here for your big baits, you know. Uh, you, you're not going to be able to bet this out at all. So come out and check those out. Great product for you guys. So keep getting, you know, getting them in stock before the season actually kicks out, kicks in for you know your uh, land-based shark fishing. And for you guys that you know just want to cast out, we have same thing from Crazy Case, a surf rig here. Uh, we have some single-string wire for you guys casting out there with a little float and a good old. Uh, owner hook here for you know you guys fishing bluefish sharks whatever you want good surf rigs here so come out and check them out uh, surf fishing now that we're talking about that uh, you know ocean city is picking up it's hit or miss you know everywhere we heard it's been either it's on or it's off so right now you know the bluefish did not show up like last year we're all hoping they do show up but it's running a little too late now so all we can hope is that they do make it through. Uh, there is a few bluefish in the area, nothing like the ones from last year, but you know, if you're there, you can catch some fish in the mid-30s, most of them being snapper size between your teens to 20-inch fish. Uh, a lot of rocks are being cut around the um, Route 50 bridge, essentially at night mainly with bucktails and swim sheds. Uh, you're going to be looking at essentially uh, fishing up in Delaware, Indian River Inlet, uh, that's also a good area there for you know you guys fishing um, the same thing bucktails and whatnot rockfish bluefish and some flounder flounder fish has been picking up pretty well for both of you guys in the Delaware and Ocean City area in Assateague so you know give that a try get some gulp and that's going to be your best baits out there uh, you know uh, freshwater fishing uh, water's warming up bass are mainly going to be on the post spawn now from you know spawning to post spawn so look out for the bits and the fry out there for, you know, bass, old you bass fishermen and snakeheads, essentially the same thing for you guys down in the eastern shore. And that's it for your fishing report, you know, same thing, guys, give us a like, uh, follow us, subscribe to our channel here, we appreciate you guys. Send us your reports, pictures to our Facebook, and you guys have a good one.